Hello, and welcome to episode 97 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. I am here in Midra's Mance. Whoa. I almost called it Midna's Mance. I wonder if that's like a, a Zelda reference. I wouldn't be surprised if they threw Zelda references in here. Am I going to fall? Oh, okay, I thought it might break. Is there anything on that bookshelf? I've got Hazel the kitty on my lap. I'll be surprised if she stays for too long. She does love it on my lap, but she doesn't love my deep booming voice going off quite so frequently while she's sitting here. Usually she gets up, but we've been cuddling for uh, a good ten minutes here. I, uh... Decided to bust out the Stolichnaya vodka. I haven't drank vodka in about 20 years. Last time I drank it, I got very sick. Very, very sick. Dry heaving, all that. Okay, I see a sight of grace up ahead, so I will grab that before I explore these places back here. Okay, that's that guy. Got to make sure I'm not missing any items on top of the bookshelves. Yeah, when I very first started drinking, I really only started drinking probably around the age of 18. What the? Okay. Oh, there is an area over there. And then that means that's the entrance. Interesting. Okay, let's get the Sight of Grace. Yeah, I started drinking fairly late, like end of high school. And I remember being introduced to screwdrivers and liking screwdrivers, which is like Midger's Library. Um, vodka and orange juice, obviously. And then... I think it was the graduation party, our grade 12 graduation party. I brought this bottle of vodka and just got really drunk really fast and was like blackout drunk most of the night. And then I was like up dry heaving in my, my friend's apartment all night. And then I was really sick for like days after that. Uh... And for, like, a long time after that, if I even thought of vodka, it would, like, make me want to fucking vomit. I'm gonna go back and check these two offshoots in this upper hallway. Uh, yeah, so... Today, since I feel like drinking, to take off the edge of not having any friends to hang out with... Oh, boy. Uh, uh, and since there is vodka there, oh god damn it, man. Son of a fucking bitch. Back up we go. Let's try this again. Um,. I figured I might as well do the vodka. Nothing else was really appealing to me. So today, I'm going to try and overcome my aversion to vodka. Not that I need to have vodka in my life, but it's a good psychological and physical challenge for myself. God, it was strong. Just took one shot, and it was, it was strong. Didn't really even want to take any more. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this again. I should have had my lantern on. Perfect. Fuck it, we can do it like this. Son of a fucking bitch. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, Surgeon Frenzied Flame. That item that we picked up earlier. Cool. Get all that shit cleared out. Oh, this is all one room. Gotcha. Okay, so let's just make sure there's nothing. Oh, there is one. See from up here if there are any others. Doesn't look like it. Swollen grape. Alright, let's warp back up. My stomach hurts a little bit from the vodka. I'd like to be able to reach over and get some water and some Sprite, but kind of prevented by the kitty sleeping on me, which I won't disturb. Because she is just... Hazel Kitty is just so loving towards me. I realized last night after I came home super depressed, she like... greeted me and cuddled with me for a minute. I have not felt as much love as I feel coming from this kitty from another person or creature in years. Like, certainly not from another human being in years, 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 but even from, like, another cat or dog or anything. I guess my cat, Brandy, a few years ago, loved me very much like this, so... Yeah. And then one of my sister's cats, Ellie, loved me a lot, too. What a nice feeling to have. Okay, so we got a ladder... I don't think I've been in the lower part of this room. Hold on, let me just orient myself for a second here. Okay, there's the entrance. That's that way. So this is going to bring me beyond the door that's locked from the other side. So through progressing through this area, I should unlock that shortcut, which is always great. Sorry, kitty. When I do my deep kind of voice growl like that. I don't know if it scares her. Reminds her of like a... I don't know, some kind of forest creature or something. Maybe she just doesn't like the noise. Maybe it's too bassy for her and... Is just really loud in her ears. I don't know. But... I gotta live my life as I'm also sharing my life with the kitty cat. Golden horn tender. So I do have that ladder that I can go back to, but that's not very far from the site of grace, which is good. Oh, dead end. Okay. Oh, I see. So were there any other items over here that I would need to get by dropping down onto the platforms upon which they rest? Not seeing anything like that. Perfect. Seven? That's sweet. Oh, fuck that guy. Let's make our way back to the ladder to orient myself in this room. 
Is this just a dead end? No, it's a circle. Oh, we got shit floating in the air. Ow, oh, kitty. You're on my nutsack there with your foot. There we go. Love you, sweetie. Yeah, that was a candelabra. Okay. Oh, I see where I am. Excuse me. Oh, This kitty is so sweet. Cuddled up in my lap. that door. Awesome. Is that Lord Midra and some woman? Figures. Shortcut's really not all that necessary, considering I have the side of grace above there, but whatever. I suppose it could come in handy. I mean, this could be the way forward, so maybe I don't explore that yet. Considering I had to break through a painting to get through the first time. So let's explore the rest of the bottom of this room. Wonder if that guy will jump off and attack me. Probably when he sees me. Swollen grape. Disgusting. Oh, good. I thought that guy was one of the the bigger, more dangerous guys, but he's not. Okay, so th this painting path is indeed the way forward. I'm just gonna swipe that wall. Just in case, you never know. This is a tricky place of madness, you never know where secrets will be hidden. Hmm. A switch. Well, seems like that's the only thing to do. I see, says the blind man. chair was invincible for a minute.
a cool place for a secret. Bust through the window. Another book. Nanaya's torch. <gasps> Another special torch. Just what I asked for. Really? I hope I don't need the intellect and the faith in order to actually just use the flame. Like the light part of it. A torch made by attaching a dying flame of frenzy to a small spinal column. Yikes. In a distant land in an age long past was born a man who failed to become the lord of frenzied flame. All that remains of him is gently cradled by Nanaya. Oh, so this is his spine. Yikes. He's the feeble lord. Feeble lord's frenzied flame. Hold torch out in front and spit out frenzied flame. Afflicts those caught in its area of effect with madness, along with the user themselves. The skill will continue for as long as the button is held down, can be used while moving. Well, I'm not too mad about not being able to use that. But can I just equip it as a torch? It is heavier, but I did. Cool, new torch. Frenzied flame torch. Oh, that's an enemy. That's the one that that summoner was able to summon. Um, what the hell? I think he has like projectile attacks. Oh, I landed in front of him when I should have landed behind him. Revered Spirit Ash, very good. I feel like this is the way forward because it'll lead to above the ghost that I spoke with at the beginning of this dungeon. Or maybe not. Maybe downward into the madness is the way forward. Or maybe this is just a little corner of that big room. Oh yes, that was un unlocked and opened when this uh, opened up. So that's another shortcut. Cool. This game definitely feels like Skyrim at times, too. Just exploring these very lore-laden, exploration-heavy, detail-heavy areas. It's really like Skyrim, with most of the aspects of Skyrim removed, other than the lore, which is like just as good as Skyrim's, but frankly, there's a bit less of it because it's so much minimalistic. So I'll give Skyrim the nod on that, but then the, the combat is like... It's like they took all the effort that Skyrim put into... Well, I guess it still has the dungeons of Skyrim, too, and the exploration. But took away a lot and just put it all into combat. And the combat is just, like, super good. Whereas Skyrim's combat... The abilities and the amount of abilities you can have and the customization of your character is cool. The actual combat itself is... I mean, it might as well be turn-based. What's 
this one called? Second floor chamber. Okay, so now... So now we're above that ghost from the first floor. Looks like I'm approaching... I mean, hopefully not the final boss of the area, but perhaps a mini boss of the area. Let's explore this. Some should be able to upgrade that again. Oh, I see. I needed to knock that ladder down to get the next shortcut. I see, so there probably is a boss through there. I guess I should kill all these guys, considering they can drop those golden horn tender buds or whatever they're called. I'm gonna have to get this kitty up soon. My knee is bent in a way that's making it really hurt. Sorry, kitty. I, I gotta move you for a sec. I gotta move you, sweet Pete. Ooh, ow, ooh, ow, 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 ow. Oh. Love you, sweet Pete. Now I can take a drink of water. I can have some veggie burgers for dinner, which I'm pretty stoked about. And maybe that other uh, plum and peach that my grandma gave me. Oh, and possibly also half a cucumber and a carrot, too. So I might be eating all kinds. So I'm going to have to find some kind of really good movie or series show to watch to entertain me while I do that. Right, Fuzzy Head? Love you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my knee was not in a good position there. You can come back and sit on me if you want, little fuzzy head. Hazel, hazel girl. I just needed to adjust myself there. This guy's like, uh... Hold on. Wow. So you can't backstab those fucking super horn scent guys, but you can backstab these guys. He's like the godskin noble, only he's like a madness noble. Or maybe a horn scent noble. Oh, right. And then there's the other one. And then the other one. Cool. And then I gotta knock this ladder down. And then let's see if I can upgrade my revered spirit ash again. Revered spirit ash blessing. Very good. All right, let's see. What challenge awaits me beyond here? Perhaps a boss, so let's go in like this. Yeah. I think it will be a boss. Depths of your foolishness. Let's not kill this guy just yet. That looks like it was touched by the three fingers. 
It looks like the f the scorching on the the three fingers door. So do I have to take off all my armor to like drop down through a fucking trap door there or something? Oh, this is a boss, eh? Well, okay, before I fight this guy, I guess I better put my fucking armor back on. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Alright. I didn't want to have to do this. Hey. Oh my god. What now? Oh boy. Gruesome. He's probably gonna turn into something real deadly. I have endured more than enough. I ask you forgive me, dearest Nanaya. The feeble lord of frenzied flame. So is this Midra? Oh boy. Oh boy. Spear? And a seal? Oh, it's like a halberd and a seal. Mitra, Lord of Frenzied Flame. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, so this is the final boss of this area. So this was uh, more like a, you know, not quite a castle, more like a fort or a small castle, like Castle Morn. Not so much like Castle Stormvale. Definitely this sword. I'd say I should go with that. Can get rid of that. And then probably that's wise to keep. It's really heavy, eh? Not really. Just just barely makes the difference. Hmm. I think this is probably fine. 
I gonna have to fight the little guy again? Actually, that would might be kind of nice because it would allow me to get my runes for free. Eat that. Get ready to skip the cutscene. Then I'm just gonna try and rush him down. I'll run diagonally to try and avoid the madness. There we go. That was big damage. Damn it. This is a cool boss. Like, visually, it's really cool. Well, that was a lot of luck. much damage. I just didn't have enough stamina to dodge through. Yeesh, man. This boss seems kind of easy, but it just does a lot of damage, and it has a lot of attacks to dodge through, and it doesn't take that much damage. Like, I'm gonna have to posture break him at least twice. I'm surprised I didn't get the second posture break there. Just try and rush straight at him. Four jump attacks. Okay, I'll heal and then try a charge attack. Nope. Damn it. Ugh. Fucking hate that shit. I was fucking... On the incorrect item. And then my character has to sit and be like, Huh? I tried to drink out of this bottle. There's nothing in the bottle. very grateful for having this kitty in my life who loves me but I would be really grateful for having some humans who felt this way about me too Specifically, a, a woman. <laughs> Your wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I like that it's easy to retrieve my runes. That's quite nice. 
I mean, maybe I should change this to like the stance breaking uh, wondrous physic. Wonder how much that would help. Did he hit me with the fucking seal? Wonder if I would have had time to heal there. Probably, like almost certainly no. Okay. Perfect. Can I just outrun it? Beauty. It's the spear that's the most dangerous by far. Yeah, I figured there was something coming at me there. How is it not down yet? Does he just not get stance broken in the second half of his health bar? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I, I don't appreciate that it's apparently impossible to stance break it more than once. Love you, sweet kitty. Let's not forget this. Might as well keep them, considering it's quite a few. more fuck off oh come on where's my fucking r2 button fucking christ man like hit r2 a million times by accident but you try and hit it on purpose and no fucking go sorry kitty she doesn't like it when i get angry like that I'm sorry, kitty. I just don't have anything else good going on in my life. I'm just trying to create a YouTube presence, and Elden Ring is a popular game and a series that I enjoy, and I gotta get my, you know, one to ten views per video. Love you, little sweet pea. Aw. Love the little kitty cat. Cool, one combo is all it takes. Alright. Okay, so after my first jump attack, I won't 
do a second jump attack immediately. I'll dodge his second madness attack, and then I'll do it. By dodge, I mean not dodge. So it's like fast, slow, fast. Run. So, it's possible that this form just isn't stance breakable. Fucking crap, man. Literally can't poise through a fucking thing. Doesn't matter that I'm level 220 something wearing all heavy armor with a fucking heavy greatsword. Just doesn't fucking matter. Fucking dumb men. Okay, less damage taken, that's excellent. Which means I can do this. Damn it. If I would have hit that other one, that would have been great. Oh, I have no stamina to run with. Fucking trash, man. Okay, fast, slow, fast. Gotta remember that. Oh boy. Damn it. Okay, the... The vertical slice... Has a follow-up. Oh my god. Five-hit combo. I'm about to fucking die. Oh, not always. Yeah, of course, custom combos. Oh, no. literally not enough time to fucking punish anything. Oh my god. What a fucking dumb annoying boss. As usual. Literally all these giant AoE attacks that last for fucking ever. That as usual the attack, the initial attack you have to dodge but then you have to attack, dodge this like lasting effect that's this giant AoE. That probably has some super precise fucking dodge pattern. That is completely fucking unintuitive.
And yeah, you just can't stance break the fucking second form. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, the HP restoring sounds kind of neat, but it probably wouldn't be enough to make a big difference. So let's do stance break, and I'll activate it after he enters, like, the second phase of his second phase. Let's try that. Damn it. Oh my god, fuck you, man. I pressed X instead of fucking triangle to fucking grab the damn thing. Fuck off. Great way to waste a bunch of time and a healing spell. Oh well. down. Okay. Now I wait for a second before I do my charge attack. Okay. Didn't get that one, but that's okay. Run! Come on! What is with the no fucking ability to fucking run? What a fucking garbage game. Hey, what's with the no fucking tracking? I mean, what a fucking great feature. I mean, I, I had this crazy thought that maybe it'd be cool if it actually tracked the fucking enemies, but that's probably wrong. Dude, there's literally no punish window, even if you dodge the last hit of a fucking combo. Can't fucking run away from attack, whose only fucking way to escape it is from running from it, since it lasts so fucking long that... There's no way of dodging through the whole thing. What a fucking moronic fucking pile of crap. Let's fucking go again. You know what? I'm gonna change it. Because you probably just can't break his stance in the final phase. Might as well just go for the damage reduction. Love you, sweet pea. Love you, Hazel. The depths of your foolishness.
Okay. Let's try and get the delay just perfect. Like, okay. Damn it. Fucking pile of shit. Maybe one charge attack and then just an R1 attack. And I'm at 51 and a half minutes, so I'll end this episode after this. Uh... Oh my god, I fucking just hate being depressed and not, not happy with my life. Not sure where my life is going to go. Not having faith that things are going to work out because... Things just haven't really worked out very well in so long. Like, things keep... I, I keep surviving, but I'm not thriving. And it's really fucking disgustingly fucking pitiful. I, I really, quite frankly, can't stand it. I just feel, honestly, really pathetic. for a jump attack, but that's okay. Nope. Oh, of course, he has to fucking pick the attack that seeks me out. Just fucking lame bullshit. I guess after the critical, I'll just be satisfied with, uh... Just one charge attack. Just leave it at that. Oh, uh, I guess this will be the last episode. If I do manage to defeat him, it won't take that long, so. Six minutes is enough. Why won't you fucking jump, man? God damn, stupid fucking game. What? Even with a fucking heal, it got me, and I should have been fucking far enough a fucking way by then. Holy fucking Christ, man. I just fucking hate this shit. <sighs> Kitty cat's dreaming. Her little face is twitching as she lays there. Life just feels so fucking stupid and purposeless, meaningless, valueless. 
Thanks for watching episode 97 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you want to help me grow my channel so that eventually one day I can reach my dreams. Hope your day is going well. Let me know what you think about life, about this game, about my commentary, etc. And I will see you in episode 98. Peace out.